Hello there everyone and welcome to another edition of Lydia's Crafty Corner with me Lydia in my little crafty corner. So today I'm going to be sharing with you this card and I will be using some mask stencils on their very own to create some images which is really really cool it means that you can create lots of different images using just the mask stencil. So the mask stencil I am going to be using is this beautiful bold bunch mask stencil and it has loads of different images on here so I'll be using the mask and the stencil here. So first up I'm going to be using the stencil and I'm just going to pop the little image that I want, this is the large flower, into place and I'm just going to add some tape around it. I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to be using my little finger daubers and mini inks to colour the images. So for this large flower here I'm going to be using warm sunshine for the centre. I'm then going to be using some baby pink around the petals and then I'm going to darken up the outside of those petals using a little bit of the fuchsia. So I'm just going to add this around again with my finger dauber and then to make sure that centre really pops I'm going to add that centre in again with the warm sunshine. So once I've done that I can remove the stencil so I'm not going to clean it this time and then I'm just going to pop it back into place where I want it to be and I'm going to do it exactly the same again. So the warm sunshine for the centre, the baby pink for the petals and then darken those edges of those petals with the fuchsia. So once I've done the large flowers I'm then going to pop the little mask on top. I'm using a little bit of the old new tape pen and then taking a little bit of the stick off before I do add it into place. I'm then going to go for like this tulip kind of flower and for this one I'm going to be using chamomile for the petals and then a snap dragon just to darken the base of that flower. Again I've moved the mask stencil onto the larger flower on the other side and then I'm going to pop in a couple more of the little tulip flowers again in the same colours. So once I've done that I'm then going to remove the mask stencil again, pop the masks into place over the two flowers that I have there and then I'm going to go for a little smaller flower. So for this one I've gone again for a warm sunshine in the centre and then I'm using the Aqualicious around for the petals. Now my stencil did move, so what I did is I just darkened the um, Aqualicious on the small flower just to make that look as though it's going over the tulip flower rather than the other way around, which I did envision it at the start. So as you can see, I keep moving the mask stencils around, so I'm going to move the ma masks on top of the ones that I have there already and then I'm going to move the stencil around to where I want it to be so I can colour this in. I'm going to do this for the flowers and also the leaves. So for the leaves I am using the beautiful Spring Garden ink, mini ink cubes and I'm using the lime and the fresh leaf for my leaves. Now this one I went a little bit awry. I went over the flower but I'm just going to cover that up. So I've got one of the smaller flowers and I'm just going to do this in a really dark ink and this one is ultraviolet. Now I'm just going to pop these over the other flowers because it is a darker ink. You can go over the other images that you do have there without it showing too much. I'm going to add some really small flowers in this time with the turquoise. I'm just going to pop them into place. Now I wanted some more leaves. I'm going for these little tiny leaves. And for this one I'm just going to use some lime aid. You could use two colours if you wanted to but I do find that blending gives you an ombre effect anyway. So once I've done that I then decided that I was going to do a little bit of doodling. So I'm just taking a black fine line pen and I'm just going to doodle these flowers in. Now I do find that going quicker when you're doodling does really help so that's why I'm going quite quick but then I have sped this up a little as well. So as you can see I am on, I'm resting my hand on a piece of scrap paper. This does help me um, not smudge anything and you can see there just how much of a difference it does make with the little doodle lines in the flowers and I do think it's very very sweet. So I'm going to keep going with this until I have all of my flowers and leaves doodled. So I'm just kind of using the image as an outline and just kind of going around it quickly and then adding in some small details such as the centres of the flowers there. So once I'm done with that I then added a little bit more detail by just adding a few little dots here and there with my fine liner pen. For my sentiment I'm using the handwritten hello die set. I've cut this out of some white cardstock and also some black cardstock and I'm popping the smaller one of, with the white cardstock on top of the black one just to add more of a shadow to it and I'm just going to pop this into place onto my card base. And then once I've done that, the whole card is complete. 
I really do love how this turned out and that you can use your mask stencils in a different way just to stretch them and you can stretch your supplies with all of the mask stencils that you do have. So I really do hope that you've enjoyed the video and that you like the technique as well. Also, if you want to watch a couple more videos, there's a couple more here that you can watch at your own leisure. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any videos that we do upload to the channel, it'd be great if you do subscribe. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you again really, really soon. Bye-bye.